Good morning. Happy Friday. Long time no see. My video schedule got a little messed up because we were gone and then I didn't have a garden tour and I shot a garden tour and it came out last Friday, so everything's been a little weird. But I'm back. Here I am. Hello. And we are in the garden. Things look different out here. I came out last night and pulled out all but one of the determinate tomatoes. There's one down there. That's it. I am standing here next to the dill. And actually, I noticed something that's cool. So the dill flowers attract monarch butterflies and caterpillars. And look, there's one right there. There's a couple on this flower. And there's one over here too. And there's one right here. And there's one down there. And there's actually one all the way down here too. Back in there. And there's one over there. I knew they liked dill flowers. And so when my dill started flowering, I was like, eh, it's no big deal. I'll leave it for the monarchs, for the caterpillars. And they seem to like it. Um, I am going to be making some pickles this weekend canning some pickles and so I'm gonna have to come out here and harvest a bunch of dill um, but I'm going to harvest around the caterpillars I'm gonna leave them um, I'll pull from the bottoms of the two plants and then they should be um, they should be good actually there's more there's like 15 plants over here I don't know why I said two plants there's a lot more than that so that's exciting I didn't notice that last night so, like I said, I came out last night and pulled a bunch of stuff up, including all of this, except that one plant that's right there. Uh, they were done. They had only tiny green tomatoes on them that were not growing, or they were gross they were rotten there's one left one Roma plant left that actually does have some pretty decent looking tomatoes on it that are still turning the plant pretty much is dead the leaves are all brown and gross like it's gross but I left it um, so now I have all the space back here and I need to clean it up obviously it's full of tomatoes that have fallen off and weeds so I need to clean it up, but, oh, but I think I'm gonna plant some zucchini back there. Also, hmm. This is my burpless cucumber, and I just looked and I saw like this, and like this, and like that. That was all alive last night. So I'm thinking that I have some squash bugs on here again. I thought I got them all, but apparently I did not because that is very indicative of squash bug activity. And I see one, actually. So I'm gonna go put some gloves on and we will pull him off. Hold please. Okay, I have a glove down here. That's still my cup of Dawn dish soap and water. So all I'm gonna do is one turn the camera around so you can see so he's up here a little black thing. um i'm just gonna come in and attempt to grab him they kind of freak me out because they're really gross they're also stink bugs so if you smash them they smell really bad he went on the underside of the vine come back up Little, little turd. No. I got him. Okay. There he is. I'm just gonna throw him down in there and he will drown. Rip. 
Okay, so that means there's probably more, seeing as this whole vine of this plant is dying. Like, look at this up here. This was all alive last night. So, um, that's good. Let's see. This has turned from a morning garden walk, garden walk video into a let's hunt squash bugs and kill them video. Um, actually, there's a, there's a cucumber down there that needs picked too. But I'm not gonna pick it right now. Um, I don't see any more on this plant. Now that doesn't mean there's not more, but I just don't see them. But as I was walking to the garage to get my gloves, I looked at the pickle plant and I cut all the sunflowers down. So this pickle plant has a lot of more room now because there's not a sunflower next to it, but look at this. That was not like that last night. So I think I know what happened. I cut the sunflowers down last night and um, squash bugs actually will live in, in or on sunflowers. And I think, ah, there's one, it's a baby one. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay, I got a baby one. Uh, so as I was saying, squash bugs can live in sunflowers or on sunflowers. They will also kill sunflowers. Um, mine were dying anyway, so they didn't kill them. But um, I cut them down last night. And so I think what happened is their home, the sunflowers, was gone. And so they had to find somewhere else to go. And so they went back to my cucumbers. Or they went to my cucumbers because these plants did not look this bad last night. Um, I don't see any others on this. Well, we found two. We found a big one and we found a baby one. To be honest, now, about these cucumbers, if they died, I would not be real upset. Because I've had approximately 4 million cucumbers. I have approximately 4 million in my house I still need to do something with. Um, the watermelon plants are not doing well either. They're dying. The one with the baby melon, with that melon, that melon might get big enough to harvest, but the one, this one, I picked the melon off. You'll note that that's empty. Um, it's, it's getting crisp. I don't know what's, I assume it's squash bugs on it, but I haven't seen any squash bugs on it. So I don't know. Um, I picked a couple onions from over here on this side. I planted onions over here and they are very small. Uh, let's take my glove off so I can use both hands, but good news. So. I think I told you that I planted peas out here and the bunny, the baby bunny that can get in here ate them. Well, I planted more peas and look, there's three of them coming up. And they look so healthy and happy and these will go right up the trellis and then I will have peas hanging. So, I cut down the sunflowers last night Actually, this one I dug up, um, but I had to cut down the rest because I couldn't get them dug up. I need to actually use like my big shovel, my step shovel, and get them up because the root balls on those are massive. Uh, I pulled out the rest of the determinate tomatoes except the one, and I also pulled out the long keeper tomato last week because uh, it just, every tomato on it was rotten and I didn't like them to begin with. And so I just pulled them out. So let's talk about goals for the garden for the rest of this year. Um, I am going to pull out this purple Russian plant this weekend. Um, this stupid thing, because it's dying and also the tomatoes every tomato on it is getting is splitting and it is rotting before it ripens 
Um, my lemon boys aren't doing great, but they still have new growth at the top that looks healthy, including some new flowers. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave every other tomato out here except the purple Russians. Those are gonna come out. Uh, my Cherokee purples are finally just now starting to come into it a little bit. There's some new tomatoes growing on them. Um, this big one is starting to turn. So, I don't know. We'll see. Th those tomatoes are pretty good, but they're not my favorite, I guess. The Chianti Rose is my favorite. Uh, I'm finally getting some peppers. They're growing. So, this weekend, I'm going to clear this out. Clear out all the tomatoes that I threw or that fell, all the weeds. I'm gonna plant some zucchini seeds. I gotta grab my glove. And um, we're gonna try to keep this stuff going until, or through fall, until the first frost. That's the goal. So that's what's going on. Um, I am not going to work right away today. I have to take Libby to the vet. Uh, she has some goopy eyes. So we're taking her to the vet and then oh, lots of birds. And then I'm going to work. So that's what's going on today. And I also may go look at a new car after work today. We will see what happens. So I hope everyone has a great day. Hang my glove back up in the garage. And I will see you in the next one.